by any means. Inside of my soul, my demons, they follow me She only fucking with me for the luxury I could tell by the way she disgusting me First date, shawty saying she loving me Fucking now she say I did a Sean Cullery Two G's moving the bag at a similar speed Learn how to count for, I learn how to read Addicted to dough, got a money disease I feed for the bread now I get the head, then I head out Used to be she blow on me while I blow on tree Then I blow her back in the legs up Now I'm like, hell no, fuck that dog. Been had this dream since a rug rat dog. Never quit, do shit two, three, four times Run it back, never punt that dog. Rolling up red rolls Smoking on tulip, buddy, she cool with Been playing my old song I Put them on new shit, but she had clueless What do you want from me? Heart cold, ice cold Baby, don't get too close to me Way too many scars inside of my soul My demons, they fall Okay, we're good, we live. <laughs> Reagan, the realest real bar radio, Fort Myers, Florida, baby. We are back. Episode 24. We live again, baby. I got a very special, two very special guests in the building with me today. My new friend, Nate Adams with a Z, and his manager, Coop. How y'all boys doing today, man? Good, man. Working. Working. Always working, bro. That's the game, right? Yeah, we doing good. We doing good. Yeah. Appreciate you having us. Of course, man. Thanks for, thanks for coming by. Me first day, shawty saying she loved me. Fucking now she say I did a Sean Cullery. Two G's moving the bag at a similar speed. Learn how to count for, learn how to read. Addicted to dope. So, Nate, tell me a little bit about yourself, bro. Like, tell me a little bit about your upbringing. You know what I mean? Like, you know, how was your childhood, where you grew up, and, you know, what led you to pursuing music? Well, so I uh, I grew up, shit, I, I was born in Colorado. Shout out Colorado, baby. Me. Moved to Virginia. And then they were the OG legalizers of the gas, man. You, you know, me, you know you yeah, me, I already man. know. And really, really, uh, Parents split up when I was like four or five. Okay. Moved to North Carolina. Okay. I was in North Carolina until I was like 20. Okay. Where in North Carolina? Uh, West End, North Carolina. West End. Where's that with like Raleigh? Uh, so tw- 2014 Forest Hills Drive. Mm-hmm. It's like 45 minutes from my car. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. Damn. So, that's crazy. Yeah, man. bro. So we, so Cole's a, a real heavy influence out there. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So, facts. Um, that whole yeah, area, bro. that whole area is huge with with Cole. Just that, exactly. just that entire area feels like a very slept on area with rap. You know what I'm exactly, saying? Exactly, bro. Yeah, bro. Shout out, shout out, my homie BJ Suede. They won. They yep. going crazy out there. You Hell know what yeah. I'm saying? Hell Carolina's yeah. going crazy. So you ended up moving to Florida recently, right? Yeah, bro. I've been uh, I've been here for like not recently, like two years, but yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, how you liking it so far? Is it what you expected? It's better than I expected. It's, a, sure. it's the best state ever. Yeah, it's the bro. best state, bro. We with. got the fucking most gangster governor. We, lit. we, we just fuck with Florida. It's just yeah, the best. Exactly. Florida gets the horns for that, for sure. Oh, yeah. for sure. So what made you decide to move to Florida? Was it just like a family thing, or did you just move here on your own? Like, you know, Not like, really, bro, just expanding. Yeah. Like, like I said, yeah, I'm, from really. West, I'm from West End, so. You so know. you moved to Florida for to perf- pursue music a little exactly. bit more. Exactly. Oh, wow. Good I for really, you, bro. I ain't really know, I ain't really know exactly, uh. I knew one person when I moved out here. Shout mm-hmm. out my homie Rob. Shout out to uh, him, man. Yeah, big Rob. So I, I moved out here and then ended up linking up with Coop. Yeah. Cooping in the neighborhood. Okay. You feel me? That's how a lot of friendships start on the basketball yeah, court. That's yeah, fast. we got a very natural, like, interaction. Yeah. yeah. You guys were just kind of a vibe right connection. off the rip, huh? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, that, sure. It's meant to be, man. I look yeah, at shit like that. That's fate, bro. You meet somebody and you click up instantly. Like yeah, that's same, that's same thing with my uh, with my cameraman, bro. He just mm-hmm. like we we as soon as I met him, we like, hey, bro, fuck with you, fuck with you too. All right, bet let's do this. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Hell yeah, dude. That's yeah, what's yeah. up. That's what's up. So you've been in Florida yeah. two years now. Uh, about two, two and a half. Years, okay, something like that. okay. Right, going on three. Now. Yeah, We're going on three. Maybe a little longer, something. Yeah. yeah. So what made you get into into? Actually, you know what? Before we get into that, Coop, tell me a little bit about your background too. Like, where are you from? Are you from two, three, nine, four miles? Well, I was actually born in Philly. 
Shout out to moved. Philly, man. Yeah, yeah. I okay. moved as a baby. Me and my, my parents split up. Okay. Same story. Yeah, Mom yeah. moved us to Central Ohio. Mm-hmm. Lived outside of Columbus for a little bit. Uh, and then when I was, like, a teenager, mm-hmm. uh, my mom got a job down here. That was, like, around 08. Yeah, yeah. I mean, crash everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I've been down here ever since. I've been solo, too, because my mom moved away to Atlanta. Oh, wow, okay. About eight years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I've been just doing my thing. And then how we kind of connected, mainly, uh, so, like, literally, like he said, we were hooping. Mm-hmm. Uh, we happened to live in the same neighborhood so the place he moved into with his boy rob Mm -hmm. just happened to be the same place i was living at yep and we got like fate run down tennis court with like the like a walmart hoop hoop. yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and the the (laughs) hoop is like being held together by by uh by shoestring at like nine feet the nets i mean it was terrible but we kept playing out there let me be the best hoops though yeah so but we just played and then the community actually got a new one of those nice we kept playing they noticed that we had kept playing Mm -hmm. and then they ended up redoing the whole court wow and they did uh half a half court basketball and then the other half they did like pickleball oh that's lit but But, uh yeah and we ended up talking to the like the community and they literally said like they did it like for us oh wow that's dope as fuck yeah and we had so many like i seen like a dad and their son and like so many people it would like bring out there so it was really cool to see some of the younger kids in the neighborhood and and not just like all the older people like playing pickleball and tennis and stuff right 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 yeah they they turned our fucking tennis court into a fucking dog park yeah Uh, yeah. like fuck bro and the the hoop's (laughs) nice like the hoop is nice like yeah yeah it's a real like in ground like they really did it like right for us and and you know we met playing basketball, mm-hmm. and you know we didn't even connect on the music thing till like about a year later. Were you yeah. already involved with managing a music before you linked nah, up with Nate? Nah, no. Really just like he was like, yo, like I need a partner. I need you know somebody who can you know mm-hmm. handle the the business side of music. Essentially, just well, kind of be like his you know right, right, right hand right. man. Well, well, the thing is, we when we really like locked in, it was for um. So so I, I own an LLC. Mm-hmm. I was Xanadu. Lit. Right. Good for so, you. Doug. Xanadu is really like a, um, it started off as like more of a clothing brand, you know okay. what I'm saying? We really yeah. trying to venture out and do some more shit now with it. Mm-hmm. But um, but that's really where he started, you know what I'm saying? Just mm-hmm. being like the lead, like like making the clothes, you know what I'm saying? Shit right, like right, that. right, right. And then the more we started working, uh, long story yeah, short, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, long story short, uh, Fetty Wap had pulled up to his job damn you feel me? Fetty Wap yeah so he pulled up to his Shit. job and uh and we en- he ended up showing him my music damn he fucking with it followed us you know what I'm saying that's fire bro and then so after that I'm like that had Shit. to have made you feel good you bro. feel me well, but but, have, but, but that was the that was like that was like the first thing right yeah, so then yeah. it was like two three four five more things after that I'm like bro you know what fuck this whole clothing <laughs> shit bro be my manager like this is blowing right yeah, now bro we yeah, just yeah, met Fetty yeah. you feel me again it made it made sense it felt right cause like again when he we touch back on the on the clothing thing. Like my my background was is from my mom's side. Like she's mm-hmm. in fashion, mm-hmm. so like I just naturally like clothes. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So when he's like coming, like oh I got the brand. I'm like oh I can help you do like the merch side, and mm-hmm. you know we can really run that up. Yeah. And then you know you know at my job I had you know I had run into Fetty. I had known somebody mm-hmm. who had come through the spot with him mm-hmm. um, that I'd already known. So it was kind of it was already a cool thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's kind of how I was able to really you kind of saw something a there. slight yeah. connection with him yeah, yeah. yeah um through like a mutual friend essentially and uh shout out to full thoughtics shout uh, out to them man. look at the horns um and then, yeah so like i said we we linked up with fetty and then after that it just kind of was like all right this just makes sense yeah so yeah, yeah. just kind of like you know represent you essentially and mm-hmm. just kind of like you know move forward as a, as mm-hmm. a team did managing did managing kind of come natural to you like was it kind of did it something that take a little time to adjust uh, to a degree, I mean, it, we're, we're all like, you know, we're learning shit as we go to, yeah, cause totally, you know, totally. I, I don't have like a whole lot of experience in this, Same. you know, I have like, you know, music knowledge background, you mm-hmm. know, I've been, mm-hmm. you know, listening to it as a fan mm-hmm. Now I get to, you know, get more in the business side and, and learn that side too. But like I said, yeah. more learning as we go, mm-hmm. um, but adjusting super easily. Like I feel in my element, mm-hmm. you know, that's good. Sure. Yeah. That's sure. good. Even like my other friends, like noticed that like. Dude, whenever you do or talk about that, like you just, you just seem so like happy and yeah. seem so like yeah. So we just running with so it. Gives you life, sure. gives you life, you know. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, that's what's up, bro. So Nate, I know you just did a uh, you did a collab with Neighborhood Hero. Big fan of those guys. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, I am Y Freestyle. Tell me a little bit about that record, bro. Because I know that there was a little bit of like 
heartbreak going on in there, like some, you know, some betrayal. Yeah. Like, give me the story about that that particular record, bro, because that seems to be a big theme in your music is like kind of like uh, kind of going through shit with females, kind of coming up, finding yourself and like mm-hmm. going through like betrayal and fallouts right. with homies. That's, I, I resonate a lot with that a lot because right, I've right, gone through sure. a lot of that in my life. Right, for sure. So tell me a little bit about, you know, the Neighborhood Hero record. Like, tell me a little bit about that and like, you know, your experience with them. Um, bro, so really, I'm, uh, I am why. Uh, mm-hmm. I miss you. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually have an album coming out uh, either this year or next year. Let's go, baby. It. Let's it's go. called You. Oh, okay. name of it is You. Yeah. Um, so when I'm saying I'm, I missed you, mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of like a little sneak peek. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, but really, I missed me. You know what I'm saying? So okay. that's really who I'm talking about in the record. So you're talking about yourself? I'm talking about myself. Okay. Yeah. So like in what context? Like what do you do? Um, like, it starts off, I can't lie, I missed you badly. Pray to God you never go back down that valley. Shit mm-hmm. was going so good, bro. What happened? Mm-hmm. Questions I would ask myself, reminiscing back when it all mm-hmm. seemed to start falling. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And then from there, I go on to where it all started falling. Mm-hmm. And I come on, I, I, I tell a story about, you know what I'm saying, um, about how the day I was leaving North Carolina to come to Florida, mm-hmm. I'm sitting at the sitting at a stop sign. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, is, this is the behind-the-scenes story. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm sitting at a stop sign. I'm rolling up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, shit on the passenger seat. You feel mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. Look over to the left. While I'm rolling up, mm-hmm. C12. Oof. I don't know if they see me or not, but it's only us two on the road. We in a we on a they back definitely road. Definitely see you. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, fuck. I can't even do shit. I, I gotta take a left so this mm-hmm. shit don't look suspicious. Mm-hmm. So I hang a left, and as soon as I do, you know what I'm saying? They go. I'm, oh, no. I'm thinking they coming behind me. They pull out in front of me, then they take a right into. I don't even know where, you know what I'm saying? I sped off and yeah, went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the crazy thing is, like, that morning I had got a, um, I got, like, this thing on my phone, bro, and it was like, it was like, regardless of, I'm, I'm a big believer in God. Mm-hmm. You know Same. what I'm saying? Shout out so, to the big man upstairs, bro. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Facts. So, so everything, everything that really resonates, I kind of point back to him mm-hmm. and everything, so. Definitely. Especially that moment, you know what I'm saying, where you thinking, ah, oh, shit, it could have gone left for real he was like nah nate you know you got bigger things yeah yeah yeah. so i I had this one you feel me so i was reading that morning and it it was something that that i had read i can't remember what verse it was but i had read something and i was like okay i don't know what this means but it was basically saying like you're protected Mm, you know what i'm saying interesting so then i was like at the end of the day or after that happened you know what i'm saying it's a 10 hour drive i I can't quit thinking about that yeah 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 oh yeah that's i'm calling my mom i'm calling my grandma i'm like yo listen to what just happened you long drive so it's like (laughs) yeah bro it's just um so back to the back to the uh the song Mm -hmm. yeah the song was really just um just kind of in emotion with all that bro you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. like a lot of people, like you said, you know what I'm saying? Well, I, I do talk about fallouts with homies, fallouts mm-hmm. with females, mm-hmm. love with homies, love with females. But at the same time, it's like, but at the same time, I'm not perfect. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, nobody I, I ain't going to yeah. sit here. I'm, I'm not going to be the artist on the stage to mm-hmm. where, you know what I'm saying? Y'all looking at me like I'm perfect. Nah, I'm mm-hmm. I'm one of y'all. You yeah. feel me? But that's the beauty in what you in, in your art, bro, is exactly. exposing that flaw and vulnerability. Because that's right. real and relatable. Right. That's you why I fuck me? with your shit. Because right. like when I was listening to it, I was like, yo, I felt these same emotions. Right. You know what I'm saying? I For feel sure. like you capture those really well, bro. So sure. thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So. That's that's lit, bro. That's real so. lit. So I have a bu- I have a bunch of favorite songs of yours, bro. I like Bluff. The hook on Bluff is fucking hard. You walked Appreciate on that it. shit it was fire, bro. Appreciate that. Another song about falling out with homies and then talk to me. Tell me about talk to me, bro. I know that that's got to be about a shorty, bro. So tell me about yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell me about the story with her, bro. Because I know I, there's always that one that just you know yeah cuts us a little deep, you know. So that that's a damn. You was you was digging deep in the archives. Hell yeah, Hell yeah, 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 for sure. Had okay, to, so uh, so talk to me. <laughs> Damn, I'm thinking back. That was like 2018, 2019, something mm-hmm. like that. I like so. I like to look at the evolution of an artist too, bro. I like your old shit, and I compare it to your new. I just want to see how you, you develop got some old yeah. stuff in there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because some of your old, stuff, oh, dude, that's like when you first start. That's like pure emotion, bro. That's right. real shit. You go like maybe when you're making it, you kind of you kind of get sick of it because you make the same song over and over again. You hear it mm-hmm. so many times, you're like, eh. But then when you come back to it, you're like, yo, this is fucking heat, bro. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for I don't sure. know. I was just, I was feeling that shit. But yeah, tell me about that a little bit. I'm mean, gonna cut you off. Uh, talk to me, bro. I made that shit at the crib. Uh, I made that shit, like I said, 2018, 2019. I remember, I remember making it. 
like I said, bro, that was a minute ago. So I remember making the song, and I remember I FaceTime my homie BJ, and I was like, bro, you got to hear this yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was like, yeah, that motherfucker hard. That yeah. motherfucker crazy. So mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, we got to, we really got to run with this one. But, bro, I didn't know shit. Like I told you, mm-hmm. you know, when I came in, like I, I do engineer a little bit. Mm-hmm. Bro, I ain't know shit about engineering, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. somehow we made that shit work. You, you know what I'm me? saying? So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I still fuck with it. I'm glad you still fuck with it. Oh, hell but, yeah, bro. Fuck yeah. yeah. yeah that shit's sure. a banger for sure. It's just, I just, it just makes me think about chicks and just like, that's just a big part of all of our lives. It's just yeah, females yeah, yeah. and shit like that. For Was sure. that about a particular female, like an ex girlfriend yeah. that you that had a long relationship with or something? Uh, you don't gotta get dive too deep into detail about it, but just give me like right. you know what inspired it, like you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So that was uh that's really like a like one of them late nights, you know what I'm saying? Where I'm like, damn, like when you you alone by with yourself with your thoughts. Yeah, type. bro. Yeah, like, yeah. damn, I just want you to talk to me. Like, yeah, yeah, come yeah. on, answer the phone. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. So you want to call, but you don't want to look like. To, you know what I'm saying? You're yeah, thirsty. bro. Thirsty. You're like, ah, oh, just call me, bro. So yeah, we bro. can settle this shit. I got so pride. Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? I got hella know. pride. Facts, like, facts, yo, facts, damn. man. So it's like, <laughs> but but when it when it comes like when it comes to that, bro, that's the city boy in you, bro. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I already know. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? But still, you gotta. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna show that side, but then again, I'm, I'm gonna show the mm-hmm. side where I'm. No, it's hard to me, please. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. You can't have one without the other, bro. Every exactly. player got that soft side. You know exactly, what I'm saying? That's what bro. makes it real, bro. That's what makes it relatable. You know? Feel me. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Tell me about Bluff, bro. Tell me about that shit. That shit slides too, bro. Tell me about that record. Where did you shoot it? Did you shoot that video in North Carolina too? Yeah, I shot okay, it. Okay, okay. Uh, what and about talk to me too? That that video. I didn't mean to, I'm all over the place. You good, bro? Because I'm excited. But okay. talk to me, dude. That video, aesthetically, video wise, that shit was fire, bro. Crazy. I fucked with that shit. Heavy, Crazy. bro. Shout out KV. Had the vintage look to it, bro. That shit was sick. Yes, sir. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, that shit. Yes, that shit was fire. Um, did you? Are you? Do you play a big part in kind of like the visuals with with your music videos, or is that something you kind of leave to you know your team? Like, I really, I really be trying to leave it to this guy to E, mm-hmm. and you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying I definitely love that one with him. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, bro, he went crazy with that shit. Yeah, he, yeah. He did go crazy. He's the one that shot it. Uh, no, no, no. KV shot that one, but oh, okay. he he shoots most of my music videos oh, okay, now. Okay, yeah, bad, for sure. Bad, bad. Eclipse. So. That's that's what's up. But yeah, tell me a little bit about Bluff, man. I love that record, bro. Tell me a little bit about that and how you formulated that and you know the whole basis on that. Um, recorded that in Florida. Uh, recorded that at the at Rob's crib. Okay, right. So yeah, he had like a little uh like a little closet, like mm-hmm. a like a walk in closet. So then be the hit making studio. Then set up in there. Yeah. Did Bluff like maybe the third day there type shit. Wow. Okay. Went crazy. Uh, sent it to day one. I can't remember if he did his verse then. I think he did his verse before I before I left Florida and went back to North Carolina. Mm-hmm. But regardless, went back to NC, um, did that video, and I it was basically going to be the the hook. That was basically just going to it was going to be like that. That was the verse. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So mm-hmm. it was going to be that Juan's verse, and then go back to that. Mm-hmm. And then I got down there, and it was like it was like nah, bro, you gotta you like, gotta go in. Yeah, like they Facetime me like, bro, you gotta. You got to do another verse, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, shit, just do that shit tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. I had my shit with me. I'm like, fuck it. Let's do it. Because I, I was pulling up on them to do the videos in Raleigh. Right. You feel me? So I'm like, I pull up on them. Uh, ended up recording it. Like, I, I did my verse the night before. I wrote and recorded my verse the night before we did the video. Oh, wow. So when we doing the video, bro, I don't even know the words. You feel me? I'm just like. <laughs> yeah, you just do that shit together all yeah, the way bro, there. I'm like, hold on. Let me listen to this shit one more time. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. It was, uh, it was, it was crazy. Juan went crazy on that bit, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, when you're, uh, does it take you a long time to kind of like write verses or are you kind of like quick with it? Like, have you been doing it long enough now where you can kind of be on the way to the studio and have a deadline and just kind of throw something down and yeah, make yeah. it happen? Yeah, I can, I can write some shit whenever. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I can, I can do something whenever, but, um, I, I prefer to take my time with it. You yeah, know for sure. Yeah. I can. I've done the, you know what I'm saying, hopping on, like, the the punch shit, you know, the free, freestyling punch right, shit. Right, you know right, what I'm right, 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 right. So I can do it like that, but I, like I said, I prefer to, like, really take my time and, like, mm-hmm. like sit with the record. Like, I'd, I'd yeah. rather, like, sit with a record a full week before I move to something else now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I need to think of every good idea I possibly can with this particular project before I move on. I'm the same way, bro. I'm <laughs> yeah. the same way. You I need, I sit on things, even with editing, bro. Like, I'll take yeah. my time because I want it to be really, really good. If I don't right. want to miss any details, like... I think that's what makes you a good artist, bro, is the fact that you take your time and you don't rush it. But I feel like in the rap game nowadays, like, you got to have a verse ready on the spot sometimes. You never know when, you know, somebody might want to hop on your song or, or vice versa, and you only have two hours to write something. You know what I mean? Right. So it's cool that you can do both of those things. That's, sure. that's, that's dope as fuck, bro. Exactly. Good shit. Tell me about your, uh, you had a song with uh, one of our one of our Real Boy Radio alums, Lottie. Shout out Auto Gang. 
AG Lottie. Yeah, for sure. shout out. Tell me about that shout record, bro. Lottie. Yeah, shout out Lottie and Auto Gang, bro. So, so yeah, that's homies. that's that's the one Florida gonna be going crazy on yeah, in a few months. I already you know, know what bro. I'm yeah. so. How did you link up with him, bro? Was it just internet networking? Oh, this guy. This guy, this guy knows this everybody. Guy. Nah, so it's crazy. I yeah, actually, cool. Like, about that. I ran into him. I think him and one of his boys were shooting a video okay. downtown, and I was just uh, was this, this like recently? Uh, nah, oh, it okay. was crazy. This was probably like. Going on two years ago, I think. Uh, okay, Something like okay, that. It's okay. been a minute. And uh, I ran into him. Uh, I don't even think we were working yet together. I don't even remember. Nah, exactly. we were working. It, it was just close. Wasn't a it, wasn't no, it wasn't a manager or artist relationship. Either way, yeah. I got I got uh, linked up with him. I met him, talked to him for a minute. Mm -hmm. We, like, linked contact. Um, I actually was, like, we were downtown. We, like, had a couple drinks together or something. Mm -hmm. And then, like, a year later... After the hurricane, a couple months later, he just randomly hit me up and mm -hmm. was like, yo, just tapping in with you. Lit. And I was like, yo, like, let's work. Mm -hmm. uh, so and then crazy. We, we put that, like, together, essentially. Right. That's, yeah. the, that's the start of it. Okay, we, cool. we had we had a whole new song. Like, me and Lottie got a whole other song that we was, that's the, like, that, that was the, the one that we, the one that say we. Say less? Yeah. Say yeah. less. No, no. Say less wasn't even, like, yeah. on the list. Like, Oh, wow. Okay. That fact, wasn't the idea yeah. when we were talking to him. We're like, okay, da, da, da. We sent some stuff. Right, you know he goes. He, you know, he said, "Hey, we're gonna let's do this." Cool, mm -hmm. pulls up. You know, long story short, it's you know something else going on right now. Mm -hmm. Right, so he just so he's like, "Bro, he we, we knock out the first song, and then we still sitting there." He like, "Bro, you trying to do something from scratch?" I'm yeah, like, yeah. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. And then he like, and I'm like, you know what, bro? Hold up, I'm let me play you some shit real quick. Mm -hmm. So I play him, I play him some, uh, I play him one, I play him. First demo and he like oh yeah yeah I'm about to hop on this one mm -hmm. like bet 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 but before you do let me play you one more he like all right play me whatever but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely hopping on the other one <laughs> I'm fire. like bet so I play him some other shit that already had Juan actually had a has a verse on say list okay you feel me yeah yeah um so I'm like I'm like bro I'm gonna play him this but you know what I'm saying I already got the verse done whatever I'm mm -hmm. still I'm still gonna play it mm -hmm. so I play the hook for say less he like nah fuck that other song we doing this yeah, shit yeah, right yeah, now yeah, I'm yeah, like yeah. all right bet so. We just uh, it was gonna be me, it was gonna be me, Lottie, and Juan on the song, mm -hmm. but you know what I'm saying, just um, just musically that shit just didn't sound right. You right, know what right, I'm right. Sometimes you gotta make that decision. You, you feel me? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so we just we realized like, hey, bro, that's a that's a that's a Florida anthem. Could mm -hmm. be a Florida anthem. Will be a Florida anthem. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. just gotta gotta do what we gotta do. You yeah, know what I'm saying. I so, feel that. I feel that. And for the music video, it was gonna that's the main thing. Like the music video is gonna be crazy because we was gonna have to bring. Everybody to NC or oh shit, like yeah, two or three yeah, people yeah. to Florida. Yeah, yeah. It's like, bro, we might as well just just knock it out how we do it. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm so you so. got a, so you got a few songs with with Lottie in the chamber. Uh, we got we got we got two. Okay, we got two. The, so, it, the other one ain't ain't never dropping though. For oh, sure. for it's so yeah. fired up. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> this one for the vault forever. Huh? Yeah, this yeah. one this one for the vault. That's after you so. retire and they make you uh, the documentary about you. They're like, you oh, this is the unreleased stuff you never yeah. heard. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah, now you got another song too, Lottery. I fuck, I fuck with that too. You did a, uh, you did a uh, another neighborhood hero collab with that song, right? Lottery. Yes, sir. Tell me about the lottery, man. And what would you, what would be the stupidest thing you'd buy if you won the fucking lottery, bro? Stupidest thing I'd buy if I won. Yeah, the what's lottery. your first stupid purchase, bro? Because I know me, I'd be a menace if I won the lottery, bro. I'd, it'd be stupid. Bro, I'd probably buy like a. A yacht or some yeah, stupid just something shit. Yeah, car like, or a boat. Yeah, just something that I'll never use. That's yeah, really that, expensive. That's like something. <laughs> yeah. 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 Probably probably get like two rolls or some shit. Have to, bro. Yeah, Paint them just, ridiculous colors. Yeah. Colors that you'll Fuck never it. see in nature. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? <laughs> that's, exactly. that's hilarious. Not with them colors. Facts. Facts. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nah, uh, yeah, but tell me about a little bit about lottery, bro. Like what was the basis of that song a little bit? Were you kinda kinda shooting on people that weren't motivated that don't go out and get the bag? Because that song when yeah, I was bro. riding around with it today, I'm like, man, I kinda wanna go get my racks up a little bit. Like that's kind of yeah. the vibe the song gave me was like I want to so, get on my hustle shit. So is that is that what that kind of was about, really? Yeah, bro. It's just like you know, what I'm saying I'm not I'm not really the one to come out here and talk about talk about guns, talk about this, yeah, that, or yeah, the yeah, other. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, I you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. let's let's motivate them to do something. No, it's good, positive. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? some positive shit. Yeah. So go get some money, bro. You know what, mm -hmm, what I'm saying? So yeah. that's that's really the whole message behind the song. It's like like you said, bro. Just like kind of cracking on people who not focused on that. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who facts. Rather. Lay up, cool up on the, mm -hmm. in the crib watching Netflix mm -hmm. instead of just going to get a bag. Like it's you, about here to be living, bro. Yeah, you really think your best, like your best chance of getting rich, bro, is hitting the lottery? Like 
Damn. You feel me? Yeah. There's Dang. a thousand ways to do it if you just get off the thousand, couch. bro. We in 2023. Yeah. And I think it's easier to make money on the internet now than ever before, I think. Than There's ever. so many fucking outlets to make money, you know? Facts. For real shit. Especially with content making, too, man. Like, oh, my Facts. God. Like, ever since I got into the industry, I realized how many areas there really are with, like, just, you know, videotapes, fucking podcasts, recording. Like, right. oh, my God. There's so many ways to make money, so... If you ain't got right. bread, that's your fucking problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. So we're not get you some, man. Yeah, facts. <laughs> facts. So how do you feel like you've uh, evolved as an artist since, like, you know, when you first picked up the microphone until, like, where you're at now? Like, what do you think has been, like, the biggest transformation for you personally? And both of you, too, like, even as a manager perspective. Like, how do you think you guys evolved? Um, I think I think mainly just uh, just being comfortable being me. That's a you good know what answer. I'm saying? Yeah, that's a good it, answer. Because a, a lot of times when you come in, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it was huge J. Cole influence where I'm mm-hmm. from. Huge. Mm-hmm. I still love Cole. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Listen to him religiously. Yep, same. You know what I'm saying? Same. That's probably the person, him and, well, few people, but mm-hmm. when when I meet Cole, that shit going to be, you And know you what will, saying? bro. And you will. Yeah, it's going to be a little, a little starstruck. You oh, know yeah, what I'm of course. Bro. Of so, course, bro. Uh, but anyways, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, just like. Just really, like I said, bro, just being comfortable and being me, not being afraid to, you know what I'm saying, do some weird shit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Experimental difference, yeah, you know, bro, just straight be, away. Cre- be creative, and if that shit work, it work. If it don't, it don't, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. That's, that's something that, like, when I moved to Florida, I really, like, took pride in. It's just like, bro, this shit might sound crazy. It's, you might never hear these sounds again, but fuck Facts. it, we're going to try it. You feel me? When did you when did you feel like you you realized, like, okay, like, who I am as an artist, like, this is this is what I need to be? Like, when did you feel like you kind of, like, realized that? Like, when did it click in your head? Um, which, when you were young, probably. Yeah, I was about to say, probably, like, yeah. like bro, I don't even remember for real, mm-hmm. but I feel like this shit chose me. You feel yeah, me? yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the I way think, he's talked, the way I've known him forever, like, it, there's I've never heard or thought or even, like, it's always been... Mm-hmm. Music, like that's what it's that's right. what it is. Right, right, right. right. It just comes naturally. It's just something you always think about. That's yeah, when you bro. know. And it's something you think about when you wake up and go to bed. That's when you know. That's what you're supposed to be. Yeah, doing. bro. Well, I mean, I started. I I, I got like a, a full setup for Christmas and my birthday. Saved. Oh saved man, I know you year. were hype, bro. I yeah, know bro. You got hype, a whole bro. setup. Start. I actually started making beats for like like a few weeks, mm-hmm. and then I was like, man, fuck this shit. You can record on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I just. I tried my hand at beat making, bro. I'm like, man, I'm trash, bro. I need bro, to just, <laughs> just need to stick to talking on mics. Me too, bro. I'm <laughs> trash at that shit, but I like my homies be like, bro, this shit kind of hard. I'm like, bro, no, it's see. I feel like I know what sounds good, but yeah. I don't know how to put it together. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You that, uh, yeah, exactly. that's really ear. what it is. And my homeboy just fucking laced my new computer out with everything too, and I'm itching right. to fucking get on that shit. But my homeboy's got the charger, and I'm just dying. Like, it's like, <laughs> it's like how you have all your presents, you can't even play with them. Right. <laughs> it's just the worst. But yeah, nah. yeah, yeah, I tried that shit, man. Like, I have so much respect for the producers. I know a shitload of be making the engineers and stuff and i watch them do it and i'm just like fuck bro yeah bro. how the fuck do y'all think that fast and just yeah. move that it's mind-blowing bro okay. you know what i'm saying there's levels yeah. to that shit for so. fucking sure yeah so what what's been like some of your biggest challenges you've faced ever since you know you moved from north carolina you moved to florida pursuing the music thing what have been some things that you've had to overcome that maybe built some character kind of made you who you are today like you know what i mean bro really just just get my bread up you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, i yeah. ain't really come here with much at all you mm-hmm. feel me like i said i was staying with a homie so just, you know what I'm saying, just like from from sleeping on the floor, sleeping on his couch to, yeah. you know what I'm saying, where we are here. Mm-hmm. So Trusting the like, process, too. Trusting you know? the process, yeah. bro. That's I, it's, big. It's crazy, bro. I came here, and I, like, I ended up getting a camera, right? Okay. Ended up just buying a camera. Mm-hmm. Spent, like, 800 bands, some mm-hmm. shit like that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. on the camera. And then didn't have nobody shoot the shit for me. I'm calling homies like, hey, bro, if I need you to shoot some shit, could you shoot it? <laughs> could you just come hold this for a second? <laughs> yeah, you feel yeah. me? And then uh, I met E. E ends up, mm-hmm. uh, he ends up, like, I'm peeping his his whole sleeve, his arm. He got a whole sleeve. I'm like, bro, who did your tattoos, yeah. bro? He's like, bro, I did them. I'm like, word? Oh, so shit. you do you do your own shit? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's lit. So I'm like, all right. He definitely got our eye. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? For sure. And mm-hmm. then, like, we ended up chopping it up, having a few conversations about it. He was like, bro, I think I really want to do this shit. Damn. I'm like, bet, let's do it. So we lock in that way. And then, you know what I'm saying? Coop right here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. How that how that shit came up with the, like I said, the whole. So you got him into filming? Basically? Yeah, bro. Oh, that's hard, bro. So it's like. That's tight as fuck. Yeah, and now but he it, films you full time pretty much? Yeah, yeah. That's he tough, films bro. like in general. So that, it's that's like. That's tough, bro. Yeah, bro. Shit, bro. That's awesome. So it's like, it's like, bro, like I just, I love seeing my guys, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. do shit. Facts. Like, just, just. 
be doing their shit, bro. Yeah, you know I'd be saying? preaching that shit all the time with him. I was like, yo, if my homies are winning and crushing it, that's just going to rub off on me, bro, and I'm going to start winning and crushing it me? too, bro. Like, your exactly. circle really defines how far your success is going to be too. So that's important. That's good that you invest in the people around you, bro. No cap. And that's we a not, good leadership we quality right there. And we don't, we don't, we not like, it's not like we're looking for other artists to bring to Xanadu or we're looking for a producer or an engineer, bro. It's, this shit going to happen organically. Facts. In every facet. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah, so. you're just being yourself and the people, the right people are going to come along, bro. And that's yeah, kind of what we've been doing with the podcast, too. I've just been doing me, doing my shit, being myself. And it's just been, you know, the right people have been gravitating. And I think that that's a big, a big element to this shit. You know okay, what I'm saying? Bro. Real yeah, shit. So just trusting in God, let, letting him kind of, kind of mm -hmm. puzzle together. Now, you've you been religious your whole life? Were you, did you grow up in the church and shit? I hate saying religious, bro. I hate that spiritual, shit. Spiritual, spiritual, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm reason, more spiritual, I would say. That. I, I feel yeah, like, I feel like sure. most people by generation up religion, so. identify as just spiritual. They don't really fall under one religion. They're kind of just like, yeah, I believe in a higher power to a degree. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I think that's sure, most, sure. most people. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for you sure. always been like that your whole life? Um, Yeah, bro. I was, I was, I was, uh, I grew up in a church, you know what I'm saying? Um, Ended up playing the drums in my church. Uh, for Dope. a while when I was a kid. So you've been so music's been a thing for the from a long time. From ago. the jump, okay, bro. Okay, so okay. That's but, make, that makes sense. And it's crazy. It's crazy you say that because I really started like doing like some damn near Christian <laughs> rap. You know what I'm saying, bro? I was listening to Kanye's fucking choir album, bro. That shit slides. That's I'm not even really bro. into gospel music, bro. But man, he remixed everything to like modern songs, and bro, they rock, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Oh, like bro. that shit hard. <laughs> Yeah, and it makes you feel good. Yeah. It's like, you know what I mean? It like ups your, your, your frequencies. It makes you feel good. Like I was driving listening to it today and I was like, man, I'm in a good ass mood right now. Like, yeah, bro. That should be powerful, bro. It's impactful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, some of, that's I, a lot of it's corny. Facts. You know facts, what I'm saying? Facts. A lot of it is corny. Mm -hmm. My shit was definitely corny. I was mm -hmm. 15, 16 rapping about yeah. what else? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for me to get hyped when you're rapping about Jesus. I, I will agree with that. You feel <laughs> yeah, I hear that. I hear that. But it's really. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to get hyped, bro. Yeah. It's hard to take shots at Hennessy when you're bump, when you're rapping about Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. feel you, bro. I yeah, feel yeah. You, yeah. But, so, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm like, bro. I kind of want to like. I really, I really drifted far away from that. Like even even just God in general, bro. Like mm -hmm. just drifted far away from God, and then like yeah. had to realize like, bro, what you was in was religion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. that was that was an example of religion. So right, it's a difference. We're not talking about religion. We talking about. We're not talking about Christianity. We're talking about Jesus here. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, bro, I, I really had to kind of figure that out on my own and kind of realize, like, bro, like I like I told you earlier, bro, like mm -hmm. nobody's perfect. I'm Nobody, not going to sit yeah. here. The pastor ain't perfect. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's like you just got to – I'm, I'm going to show you every – Side of me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I feel that. I mean, I should. I, I kind of grew up in the church a little bit too. Kind of straight away from it when I became a teenager because I was just like, this doesn't seem right. Doesn't make sense. A lot of contradictions. Exactly, bro. And then like you know, I kind of kind of similar thing. I kind of you know got away from it like really far away. I kind of went down like a bad path. You know what I mean? Right. And just kind of had a realization like, yo, I'm not really in as much control as I think I am. Like I can right. control certain things in my life, like my decisions and my attitude towards things. Right. But a lot of the shit is gonna happen regardless, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then once I kind of started thinking like that, and I started to realize. Even the bad shit that's happening to me is good for the long term of who right. I am. That's when everything started making sense, and I started seeing it everywhere, bro. And exactly. that's kind of and that's kind of what I think evolved. Not only me, but me, me and him together, like just kind of like the way we look at life and how we like approach things, and just even being better people and being better friends, bro. Like when you kind of accept the things you can't control and the things you can, life gets a lot easier, bro. And yeah, success bro, just out. slowly opens up, bro. It's so, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Almost touching back what you said about the elevating. It's like you know, for me, it's like making a mistake. And then coming back full circle, you get in that situation again, you have that experience, exactly, and that's how you make bro. a better decision the next time, you know? And it's Facts. just like seeing the positive and the negative sides of even those situations will help you learn mm -hmm. how to progress. Most definitely. You get so, what I'm saying? Yeah, facts, 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 facts. So besides J. Cole, like, who are some of your other, like, influences that influence your sound? Because you have a really unique sound, bro. I fuck with it real heavy. So, like, you, like, yeah, did you model that after anybody? Like, I mean, I know we all get inspiration from somebody, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, where did you, how did you develop that particular flow? Because it's really dope. Um, Yeah, bro. Like I said, growing up, I just listened to a lot of Cole. Mm -hmm. I listened to a lot of Kendrick. Mm -hmm. I listened to a lot of, uh, like, old school shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They always called you me kinda old have, soul. Like, yeah, you kind of have, like, yeah. you do have an old school vibe to you, bro. Yeah, You do have bro. an old soul, like, vibe to you. That's kind of what I'm getting from you. Yeah, so, yeah. Wise, so, very wise. How old are you? And how old are you? I'm 23. Oh, shit. You're only 23, too, bro? And yeah, you're in your Jordan year? That's hard, bro. Yeah. Hey, 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 and you know what's even crazier? You know what's even crazier? Yeah, and we got you said you said in one of your songs, you said <laughs> it's my time like Kobe in the fourth. 
You got a Lakers shirt on, and it's the 24th episode of Real Boy. I peeped that. Let's when go. you said I, I almost like, wore that I shit hard. I almost yeah. wore the Kobe jersey. You can't tell jersey. me that that ain't fucking some numerology shit right yeah, there, bro. bro. That, shit, shit. that shit's tight. Kobe I was thinking about that on the way here. I'm like, oh, shit, it's the 24th episode, and he just right. said Kobe. Oh, I got to say some shit about yeah, that yeah. podcast. What's that what's shit's up? lit. Yeah, that's what's up. Hey, hey the, reason, the reason we was looking at each other like that when you said Jordan, yeah, that's the, that's the name of the other song me and Lottie got. Yeah, so that's why we was literally called Jordan. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Well, that was going to be like. That was gonna be like one of the songs, like, but you know, like yeah. I said, we came in and and Lottie really liked "Say Less," and he was like, mm-hmm. "This," is, he was like, "This is the one that you know," and we were, you know, we got a lot of good support on it, yeah, you know, from from other sure. people outside of you know that camp. So you know, we just we we are confident, yeah, we believe, yeah. We believe in it. When the video in it. when the video drops, it's a wrap. Mm-hmm. When sure. you guys plan on dropping the videos, is there like an estimated time sometime this year, hopefully? Uh, this summer. Oh, okay. We're going to get it out before the summer. Let's go. Sure. Bro. You got the concept of everything you're going to do with it already? Yeah. Don't reveal too much. Don't nah, reveal nah too much I'm not. Right, I'm not. But Maybe yeah. we could talk off camera, but you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm, I'm excited to see that, bro. That's going to be dope. For sure. That's going to be dope. Do you guys have plans to, you know, do any traveling, do any shows, tours, stuff like that? Like, I've not, that's something I kind of want to do with the podcast, do like an East Coast tour. Do you guys got plans to do any like traveling, shows, networking, stuff like that? Uh, we just got back from North Carolina uh, okay. with uh, Who Got the Streets. Okay. Um, yeah. So we did a few, did like two shows. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Do you like performing? Yeah. Do you enjoy it? But I love that shit. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. It's, I, I heard it's very shit. addicting when you when you do it and you yeah, get the crowd bro. reaction and people are feeling your shit. You're like, man, you just want to do more of it. Yeah, because it's know? like, because cause you got to realize like when, when you're with your homies like and you're playing that shit, like they might fuck with it, they might not fuck with it, mm-hmm. but they're going to keep it G. These yeah. people... If they don't, if they don't fuck with it, they really gonna keep it. Like you know, your homie might be like, "Hey, bro, this is the one." They gonna tell you get off the. But stage. they gonna look at you like dead in your face until you, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get off the or, stage, Nate. <laughs> or they gonna love that shit. Yeah, and be yeah. Like, Yo, what the fuck? Yo, this yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's there's gonna, really no in between. It's either love or hate it, huh? You feel a me? A lot of people Damn. like they hear his voice and they like, like whoa, you know? Damn, yeah, okay. They, they they're not ready for it. Yeah, it's your very, yeah, your voice is very. It is, it is, dude. I get that a lot. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. Yeah, you have like a very like deep, but it's very like smooth voice. Right. That's what's up, bro. It's perfect for music if you really think about it. You know yeah, what I'm no saying? Cap, no cap. That's what's up, man. That's so. what's up. So yeah, so I mean, obviously, besides the video with Lottie, you're dropping this summer. Like, what other projects do you guys have for like later on this year, and then maybe even like five to ten years from now? Do you guys plan on maybe you know exploring different avenues of entertainment, like movies, like you know, maybe a vlog series? Like, what do you guys got planned on that? You know, we had a couple of things in mind. For yeah, sure. we got we definitely got some got some plans. Um, I mean, I'll say like right now. Sorry to cut you off, but like right now, we just kind of. Getting our business straight, you know, right. working, focusing on the on the on these few songs right now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we got, we got plenty in the vault, and mm-hmm. you know, word, when, so word. when the time comes, you know, we're gonna be ready mm-hmm. um, no doubt. to keep expanding for sure. Yeah. yeah. So really, just like really for the for the summer, bro. Just push, say less, and mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying we'll definitely drop some more some more shit. You know, what I'm saying no doubt. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, we we really. We stuck on say less for mm-hmm. a little minute. You yeah, know what I'm saying we're yeah. like I said, we're still gonna push it. We, we'll, we'll probably drop a song better than say less. You know what I'm saying? You never know. But it's just, it's just, uh, and we we have songs better than say less in the vault, mm-hmm. like that I know will hit harder. But we just need to push this one as much as we can, mm-hmm. and then once we do that. You know, in the middle or that makes the sense. End, yeah, drop spend most of the time marketing. And just build stuff. some momentum. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What we're marketing right. is a beast, dude. Yeah, that's, it is a beast. That's kind of our. Focus. That's the most important thing, because mm-hmm. right? I feel like it's yeah. the it's the most expensive and trickiest part of the of the business. I really would say, you know right. what I mean. Got to get on the right platforms, right blogs. Got to have the right bread. Exactly. Like it's a lot to get a fucking songs in motion, bro. I didn't realize that until I got into the industry. I was mm-hmm. like, damn, sure. bro, you telling me you needed this hundred k to get a fucking song on the radio? Like shit, you know? I'm, I'm yeah, growing bro. up listening to music. I never thought that two fifty at yeah. least minimum. You know what I'm saying? That's just crazy, bro. You really got to be and that's why you're about on your, your shit, own. right? Mm-hmm. And that's why these that's why these artists be. You know what I'm saying? Signing a quick deal and mm-hmm. then getting fucked on that deal because yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? This they know that they just signed it too that. quick. How do you they feel about signing? Attention. How do you feel about signing deals opposed to saying independent? Do you do you have like a preference or is it just whatever makes sense? Um, whatever makes sense. It's gotta make sense. It's gotta, it's gotta, make, sense. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta make sense for sure. But um, but we we really like bro. We here for the we not we not here for no no fast route shit, bro. We don't mm-hmm. want that overnight success at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that again. We don't want that overnight success nah. at all. Bro. Longevity, man. You feel me? Yeah. So we mm-hmm. we we want to take the slow route, and if you fuck with us, you gonna fuck you you. Well, fuck with us, bro. Yeah, I think if so. you take your time and plan it out, your music's gonna be more timeless. 
You know what exactly, I'm trying to build bro. a genuine fan Timeless base. music takes time. Yeah, I so. feel like nowadays we have, we live in kind of like a microwave version of rap. Everyone wants to kind of just drop now, drop mm-hmm. it quick, just be the first. You know what I mean? I don't mm-hmm. think it, they don't really put a whole lot of heart and creativity into the music anymore. And I right. think that that's, I think something, if you guys focus on that, I think you're going to see a lot of tremendous success from that, right. for sure. But like when somebody does drop that does have that, you definitely notice it. Yeah, you know 100%. What I'm like it's, it's so easy to notice it, it or it's so like, like rare now, it stands out so much more. Mm-hmm, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like when Kendrick dropped, mm-hmm. like I, I didn't even, you ask, bro, I didn't even fuck with Kendrick album when it first dropped. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Most people so, didn't. Yeah, but it was so different, and I was like, yo, this shit, mm-hmm. this shit did grow on me. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, you know, what I'm saying, it's plenty of plenty of artists like that. I feel like different is the new lit. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, right. nowadays, you know, a lot of these people sound the same. Just being real, you know what I mean. I'm a big fan of rap, but a lot of a lot of the new mainstream stuff kind of all sounds the same. You know what I'm saying? Very mm-hmm. saturated. What do you think? separates Nate Adams from like the rest of the herd like what do you think is a quality in your music and the way that you present it that makes you special and kind of stick out from the rest of the people trying to make it in this area he's real Word. <laughs> Word. and God I got to put that in there you got quick. a real aura I decided to, to put you, that I could just tell real quick. yeah Sorry. you have a really real genuine aura to you bro, Thank you, bro. yeah yeah you don't Thank try you. to you don't try to do too much I can tell you speaking with truth you know what I'm saying that's that's dope bro that's gonna take you a long way bro so, just bro. that alone bro Right. It's like this game is fraudulent as fuck, bro. And I already know you know that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I think having that, just being a genuine person, being authentic and being yourself, bro, that's going to make you definitely stick out, bro. You right, know what I'm saying? Because so. that's how I, I feel like what's working for me with the podcast shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't try to get on here and try to be the coolest, most smartest guy in the world. Far right. from both of those things. You know right. what I mean? I just go on here and I try to talk about what I know. And if I meet somebody like you guys or somebody smart that could teach me something, right. fucking W, bro. And I come out of here a better person with some more knowledge. Feel me. That's a beautiful thing, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? Have you all, do you have like a student of the game mindset? You go in every situation like student of the game. I'm here to learn type shit. I can kind of yeah, I can kind of see that in you a little yeah, bit. Bro. Yeah, bro. For sure. For yeah. sure. Just just wanting to, you know what I'm saying, get better. Whatever whatever it takes to mm-hmm. an extent. But yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Now, do you practice? You know your craft every day. Like when it comes to like freestyle and rapping, like just getting your cadence down. Is that something you practice every single day? Every day. Yeah, I practice talking every day. As weird as that sounds. Word. Yeah, because talking is a skill. A lot yeah, of people don't really sure. realize, you know, they think that because they can talk that they're good at it. It's not true. Like, you know, talking is definitely a skill. Keeping a right. cadence, keeping a shit flow mm-hmm. is something that took me a long time to perfect. But, yeah, it's something I perfect every day. Even, like, yeah. conversations that we're having right now, I practice them before I come here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, I mean, you know, if you're, if you're going to rap your verse, you're going to spit it a few times before you, before you go live. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I just try to make sure I ask the right questions in the right way to present it the best so I can get the best answer out of y'all. Because sometimes as an interviewer, you might interview somebody that might just be a quiet person. So you got to really ask the right questions to get them to open up. And that's a skill I'm slowly learning over time. Mm. But, I mean, yeah, dude, sharpening your iron every day is going to keep you ahead of the pack. Most always. Definitely. Yeah. Always, bro. Always, you know what I'm saying, just just working. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Always gonna be now, when you're not making band. music, what what is something you enjoy doing? You got any other hobbies and stuff like that that you like to do? Is, is music just it? That's all it is? Bro, it's, that's it's, cool if that is, that's what it is, bro. I respect that. That's the grind. This yeah. is all I'm doing, bro, so I feel that. Yeah, so, like, I mean, uh, I hoop. You know what mm-hmm, I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Every once in a while, but yo, we gotta get we gotta get down, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's, Your squad versus the real boy squad. You guys are probably gonna smoke us, hey, man. A lot of my go boys are athletic up, as hell. Man. You can pull up to the neighborhood. Up, <laughs> All right, man. bet we will. We'll make that happen one day. But yeah, Shit. besides besides, we go to like, like ten and nights outside. Yeah, that's that's hey, about it. It is what it is. Only half mm-hmm. it, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. So yeah, really uh, just that's what's up. Good yeah. shit, man. Good shit. Let's see what else I got for you, man. I think we pretty much covered almost everything I wanted to talk about. You know what I'm saying? You guys got anything you want to promote or anything that you want to discuss before we wrap up shop? We're almost an hour in. She's for real? Yeah. Crazy how fast that went by, didn't it? What? I'm thinking we like what you thinking? 15, 20 minutes in. I know. It's crazy, right? That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sometimes crazy. when you just got a good flow with people, bro, the time just flies. It's Yeah. Nah, it's a good. It. it's definitely a good thing. You yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, some, I've been in podcasts where I'm looking down the clock like, yo. It's only been five minutes, bitch. We got to tell him. Already went through eight yeah. questions already, man. Yeah, I got to sl- slow down. Cause sometimes I get excited and I want to cover everything at one time. But, right. you know, that's really how it is. But, yeah, but, man. So what can we expect for you? I mean, obviously we talked about it a little bit. But, like, you know, next couple of months, like, what can we expect from both of you guys, you know? Um, me and me and Eclipse, we got the uh, we got the Every Wave Crashes series Let's go. coming. So we did, we did the, uh, the first episode in January. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Is this we, like a vlog series? What is this? What is uh, kind of. It's basically just like dropping a freestyle, bro. You uh, okay, know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, so bet, like, a, bet. like a one take type shit. Okay, so but just dropping a freestyle, just. Dude, those hit, bro. I like I like those yeah, pieces bro. of content, bro, because they're digestible. Yeah, sure. They're cool. They're at, like the one that you dropped the uh, with the neighborhood heroes in that studio with the lights. That right, shit was right, hard right. as fuck, bro. Yeah, bro. Real simple, but 
an impactful. You got, know what I'm saying? Got the message across. You Hell know what I'm yeah, saying? most definitely, bro. I love sure. that kind of shit. We're trying to do something like that with Real Boy, like a Freestyle Friday type shit. We're gonna, that shit we're, would be crazy. We're trying to get that set up some here. Yeah, something. yeah, for sure. I, I have you a lot of do that. crazy ideas. I just don't have the time to execute them all. But I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. Yeah, fixed, bro, that shit you know would be crazy. Saying? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. That. A little cipher action, kind dude. That'd of, be uh, sick. Right in front of the wall. What? You hard, bro. You know what I mean? We'll take all of them. Yeah, we gotta get some. We gotta get a couple more pieces of equipment in here, but we're rocking and rolling, bro. Mm-hmm. Nah, it looks good. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Be, it should be crazy. But yeah. um, but yeah, just every wave crashes. Uh, like I said, we just running that for the rest of the year, mm-hmm. and then um, just look we out for few, say less. Yeah, say less video say coming. Less video. Stay you know tuned for that album coming this year, or next year, Ooh. just whenever y'all want it. How many songs on the album? Uh, Haven't decided yet. I, however many they want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Do you think um? Do you think artists are dropping shorter, like like lesser song albums now, just because of the attention span of like most well, most of the consumers? Because I remember yeah, back in the sure. day, there used to be like 12, 13, 14 song albums back when we used to buy CDs and shit. Right now, they're dropping like five, six, seven songs. Like but it's the attention span, it's that TikTok shit, bro. Yeah, it's that 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 two, three second bro, little that TikTok scroll, market. Bro. Be, I don't know, man, I don't know how I feel about it. Like I get it from like a perspective of spreading your shit. It's easier right. to get more viral, but at right. the same time, it's like you know, it's kind of like ruining not ruining music, but it's definitely butchering it a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm. But I also have found a lot of great music from, you know, from TikTok. TikTok yeah. Right. So I can't. It's really pros and cons it. to everything, bro, right? You know exactly. What I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, with the TikTok, it's tough. Like, again, like we're not trying to like. He's not trying to go overnight, which is almost. I wouldn't say the TikTok route, but mm-hmm. like, you know, I would say that's people, pretty close to overnight. People yeah. know <laughs> right. the song, you know, mm-hmm. but they don't know the artist. Right. 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 You know what I mean? So like they. Trying to get, bring that attachment is where a mm-hmm. lot of those artists kind of, you know, they don't get to the next level. Right, you know right, 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 right. So I think, like I said, you know, us just taking our time, mm-hmm. doing things as proper as we can, mm-hmm. you know, and just you know, keep rocking, yeah, steady, bro. keep working. That's um, dope. You know, and like, you know, coming forward to like we all kind of. We're a, we're a good team. We know our roles. Mm-hmm. You know what, that's so what's important. going on. That's so important, bro. And then within know that, too, roles. like, going forward, we're all going to have, like, avenues set up. Mm-hmm. Like, they're already getting set up for us to be able to, you know, branch out more and be able to do more solo stuff mm-hmm. with the camera. You know, mm-hmm. me essentially going with, like, more of a clothing route. Him, he could go do, you know, a commercial acting. You know, something like that. You know, shit. Hell So, yeah. like, and then we're, we're all going to have that under – under the Xanadu brand, so like, and that's and that's, that's you guys' brand right like there. Gateway. Okay, talk, tell, talk that's about like that the a little gateway, bit, bro. Yeah, tell me about, yeah, tell me about um, that. That's the brand right there. The hat. Yeah, yeah. How do you He's pronounce it? Podcast uh, Xanadu. Like that before. Xanadu. Xanadu. Yeah. Xanadu. So it means it's it's basically like a um, like a uh, like a like a heavenly type place, right? Okay. So Xanadu. We want to make it. Um, we want to make. It's not like Xanadu Records or Xanadu uh, Music or Xanadu whatever. It's mm-hmm. it's Xanadu influence. Okay. So really, we're just trying to. Be an influence mm-hmm. for one, and then we want Xanadu to be a place to where, like, bro, you could come and be you. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you don't gotta, you don't gotta be, you don't gotta try to look like somebody else or sound like right. somebody else, bro. Come here, be you, take your time, do the shit the right way. If it, if it ain't done right, mm-hmm. don't do that shit at all. You that's know? dope. So that's kind of like so, the name of the collective. Yeah, that's yeah. Like the do. brand. Yes, the team. That's yeah, hard. Yeah. Now you guys gonna like maybe make that into like a label or something? Like, where do you, where's sure. the vision with that? I can see that for being sure. a fucking label, bro. bro. I really want to have like, like I want to like. I want to sign authors, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I want to sign, like, a, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, some different shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But but just just people being creative, like, just creatives, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I don't don't want to put it in too much of a box. That's kind of the whole point of it. Right, that makes sense. It'll 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 give it, so, like, we'll give it avenues within that, Mm -hmm. like, brand. Right, right, That will funnel that kind of stuff. That's dope. Know? That's dope. So and that's some that's, of the merch that's that, that you that's guys got? That's the content. Yeah, and then we have... The um, Where can we copy that, man? Is it's it available all, yet? It's all exclusive. We yeah, don't have... Yeah, okay, yeah, let me know when that yet. shit's but available, because I need one for the studio. It's in the works. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to rock sure. it in the episodes, man. Come on, man. Let, no let me know when that's available, and yeah, I, I want We should have brought you one today, no cap. That'd be hard, bro. Yeah. No cap. You should have brought the cap, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and you got the... Ooh, that's hard, bro. Who? That's hard, bro. Who designed the uh, the artwork? 
Well, uh, he got the he got the art. Damn, the son. Okay, shit. Yeah, for sure. He oh. got the like the design. I fuck with that, bro. That shit's hard, bro. The I'm black there. and gold. Those are like two of my yeah. favorite colors. Grayson Mixoto. That's I think that's how you say his last name. Okay. Grayson Mixoto. That's who did it. Yeah, Damn, so. that's lit, dude. I like yeah, what bro. you guys got going on, bro. I'm loving your team chemistry too. You guys are tight knit. You support each other, man. That's fucking awesome, bro. So, bro, and this ain't no this ain't no 95, 96 Bulls team. It's not like nah. One person's Michael Jordan, and then there's right. a whole bunch of role play. Like, nah, bro, we all a role player. We like, all, when yeah. It's, when it's your time to shine, I'm a, I'm a role play for you too, bro. Facts. You facts, feel me? When it's your time facts. to shine, we all we know that we mm-hmm. get it. You know I'm the saying? same way with my show, bro. Like this yeah, dude can I'm hoop though. Boy. We all real boy, bro. Everybody that's me? affiliated with me is real boy. Exactly. Real boy is just the brand. You know exactly. What I'm, saying? I'm the bro. face of the band, but they're all they all play a lot of like you. This is like a crumb of the crew that I have. I have a lot right, of people right, right. that kind of come through here and shit. Right. But every, like you said, everybody plays their role. Everybody's just, we all just support each other's projects and shit. Exactly, bro. bro. And like, having that right there is really, really important. You know what I'm saying? Looks like, and I can see that you guys have that within your group and that's a recipe for success right there for sure. Exactly. You bro. know what I'm saying? Dude, I've enjoyed Appreciate this episode it. a lot, bro. You guys are, sure, you bro. boys are real intelligent, man. Your music is fire, bro. You guys are great conversationalists. Bro. I really enjoyed it. I really appreciate you guys pulling up and just chopping it up and fucking with me, man. I definitely got to do a part two. Whenever you drop some new projects, mm-hmm. you want to come and promote them, come promote them here. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it, my boy. Uh, before, we sure. di- before we dip out of here, tell the camera where they can find you, your Instagram, everything. Just kind of give them a little brief rundown where they can find everything. All right, for sure. What's good, everybody? Nate Adams at I am Nate Adams with a Z at the end, and that is at everywhere. So Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, everything, bro. Don't forget the fucking Z, man. Don't you know forget the Z, man. And don't sleep on the Z either, you feel me? Mm-hmm. You got a basketball player's name, low key, Nate Adams. Uh, he Nate Adams sounds like a point guard. He sounds like a point guard. Like a point yeah, guard. dude. Coming onto the court, Nate Adams, number two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I can hear it. I can hear it, bro. Okay. <laughs> that's what's up, man. But Reagan the Realist, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure you stream everything Nate Adams, man. Make sure you stu- tune in to their new projects dropping pretty soon this summer with AG Lottie, all that shit. Y'all tune in. We out, baby. We'll get one more horn beforehand. There we go. Smoking on tulip, but is she cool with? Been paying my own song, but I put them on new shit, but she had clues. Baby, don't get too close to me. Way too many scars inside of my soul, my demons, they follow me.